Hey, welcome to a very special Road Testament. I have with me Mike Musto and Matt Farah from their respective drive shows. Do you know, the, the interesting thing about this particular uh, Road Testament is that this is the first time the three of us have been in front of a microphone since we used to do that show RPM on Sirius, Maxim Radio yeah. for Sirius Satellite. It made me sad when that show went away. I know. That well, was considering all they did when they canceled it, we're like, by the way, oh, it's over now. <laughs> it was, it's not like that there was like a... It's like, well, so like, all right, like, all right, guys, see you next week. They're like, I meant to say something <laughs> about, about that. that whole next week yeah. thing. Um, yeah, you might guess, you don't have to come in yeah. uh, ever again. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, so, so it's good to have you back. You guys are on the on the uh, other coast now. I can so tell badass you've got the there. tan. I look like I just fell out of an ice cream sandwich. And, you know, yeah. there well, you go. It's weird. This is my first time back to New York since I moved out to the West Coast. That's what happened. when you And what the rule is when you move to the West Coast, you don't want to come back to New York for nine months. It's That's it. how long it took me to come back yeah. to New York. It's been right. nine it's months for him, too. Really? Nine months. Yeah. There you go. The first thing we did was get a slice of pizza because the pizza in California is yeah. awful. Dollar, yeah. right downstairs for yeah. a dollar. You, so you're back just in time for dollar slices. Yeah, it was that's, brilliant. That's the new thing around. Awesome. It's it's like pizza, it's like the horsepower wars, but the opposite. Yeah. It's like it's like the undercutting wars of pizza. Uh, it's yes. It's going to be brilliant. It is going to be brilliant. Uh, um, so speaking of brilliant, what are you guys up to? Let's start with you His guys. His show is airing right now. Right now so well, yeah, let, yeah. Let him start. I'll Let's just talk. Be I mean, over here. Your show is Big Muscle, yeah. and um, it's been on a couple of episodes, yeah. and you've had some some ups and downs. Maybe you yeah. Wanna... You know what? The, I think the whole man thing when was... you start down. <laughs> Oof! It was rough. <laughs> I think the only... you got hammered in the comments. We did, yeah. We, we got it. <laughs> well, but that's okay. It's because fine. That's okay it's... because I don't know what everybody wants. Until they tell me, right? And that, and that's the best thing about it. I mean, the commenters are, are really kind of the best part. I mean, some of them are kind of whatever, but the majority <laughs> douchebags. Well, <laughs> you know what? I don't. They have certain ways of putting things across. Gunners made first rank Philip ass. <laughs> that's all I can say about that. <laughs> you know what? I've been dropping space balls. Bombs. <laughs> <laughs> so you did that like twenty minutes ago. Too. Yeah, that's like the third one before the camera roll. <laughs> I, I mean, it's the whole thing is. You know, Matt's been doing this for a while. You've been doing this for a while. For me, this is a whole new show. And so it's trying to find out what people want to see and how they want to see it. Because at the end of the day, the only thing I want to do is make a show that people tune into that they really enjoy. Well, I mean, you say, I, like, I, I just started doing this, and the camera thing is intimidating. I mean, you're like the only person well, he's like, of the <laughs> three of us. That, you're been on, yeah, the camera goes on, Matt's like, one take, he's like, and I'm out. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll see you at the bar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> see you guys. Matt's got the TV gene, right? I mean, it's yeah. like... You know, it's hard. It's there's no doubt. It's yeah. it's it's hard to do it, and the production of it is a brand new thing well, too. Well, the, 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 that's the whole. That's another part of it. Is pe I don't think people realize how tough it is. Like they they, do, they have no they idea. have no idea. People it's have like absolutely no clue that it's, that between, it's hard. I mean, you're filming a lot of times twelve hour days, sixteen hour days, depending on where you go and what you do. Yeah. Then you have to deal with the owners. The majority are wonderful. But you get some guys that are a little trepidatious about letting you, you know, jump the guys into their 150 sponsors and cars. And he's going to drop every sponsor in the yeah. episode somewhere. Well, and, yeah. You know, he's yeah. kind of a snooze festival, <laughs> so it just makes it, Drew, I want to thank you. It does. Motor but sport. you know what? A lot of these guys, see, it's different. Because <laughs> muscle car guys are a different breed than tuner guys. Yeah. You know, and it's a lot of these guys are just. You know, they've busted knuckles on these things for hours and years to get these things done. And it's, it's, but it's fun. I mean, like, we, we've got a, a Nova that's coming up, you know. Well, this is, so this is the show. This is the show. It's all, this week. It's, it's all, oh yeah, well, this week we're going to, uh, well, no, yeah, it's, it's the Nova. 1972 Chevy Nova makes 1160 horsepower at the rear. It's the most insane thing I've ever got behind the wheel. It's amazing because it looks like a 72 It looks like it fell out of a dumpster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It looks like it fell it's out. got the Mexican blanket, yeah. like Pulp Fiction, <laughs> right. and it's got that 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 boomerang bar steering wheel. Oh, and and the, the original style. style. Right. It's, yeah. it's yeah. a quarter turn in each direction, and it's got a two-speed power glide. So it's not like, I mean, that's just a sleeper that it looks like it's a, an intentional a, sleeve. Yeah, but yeah. it's like a it looks like a crap car. It doesn't you, just look like a, a regular yeah, no, sedan. It, it looks like a Nova that's been sitting out of the street yeah. for four yeah. years. And yet, what, what's what's under the hood? Let's it's see. a uh, LS2 block. With, it's twin supercharged, 1160 horsepower at the wheels. At 80 miles an hour, this thing will incinerate the tires. It's and awesome. we have video of that. It's and it's it's insane. It's, yeah. it's about getting the video. Yeah, and it's just it's so much. And the the owner Drew Dieser, the nicest guy in the world. 
You know, Drew, what can we do with it? Anything you want. Yeah. Well, those are the owners that you well, want to get. Well, you worry about you dead thing it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I mean, I don't know if you. Yeah. I mean, you'll see this thing. I mean, it's like it's it's be it's a beater. Yeah. It's be it's a it's beater. It is a beater with a massive engine. With like a thirty thousand dollar engine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, it's on the outside. It's just. You know, it's it's natural patina and it looks beat up, but everything underneath is just the engineering is the same. Yeah. yeah. So, well, so what else have you done this season that has made that uh, kind of impact? Um, well, we, we filmed this gentleman. His name was Bob Hall, and his his uh, Camaro that was powered by a CTSV engine. Yeah, that's been it's a neat car. It was it's it was so well done, and I've driven a load. Loose of wheels. wheels. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was well, there was one thing I didn't like about it. What the, you didn't like the wheels, and I understand. Because they're foose. But it's you don't okay. put Foos wheels on a nice car. It's okay. People listen, put Foos wheels on like their O3 listen. C230 Everybody's compressor. Got their own taste. You gotta understand. I look at the whole pack. Wait, what was that sound? Oh, that was. Oh, that was. Uh, I think Foos's head exploded. That, that was the Mercedes Chip. C Class Owners Club bombing my house. <laughs> right. You guys are. <laughs> so what? They don't well, know where I live. But. Other than the wheels, I mean, he he actually oh the rest the car, of the car, the rest of the car is sweet. Yeah, it was sweet. we drove it for probably 250 miles that day. It was hot. It was probably 85, 90 degrees out. Yeah. The car didn't have one flaw. There wasn't a squeak. There wasn't a rattle. It was probably one of the best pro touring cars I've ever driven. I know I'm gonna take for saying that, but it really, really was. I mean, it was that good. And this guy built it himself. So where do you fall on the pro touring versus bone stock? It's, it's, muscle Sorry. cars are, you know, I'm not a big numbers matching guy. I, I really don't want to be driving around with 14 inch wheels and drum brakes. It does nothing for me. Yeah. You I, know, did, I like, tried that. It's really, awful. Really yeah, I, I, I went to look at like a 69 Roadrunner, bone stock car a couple of weeks ago. And I got in it and I went like two miles and I turned around and I gave it back to the guy. I'm like, this is for you. <laughs> you know, because. Yeah. I'll see you at Barrett Jackson yeah. in 40 years. <laughs> and then, you know, like, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Because well, and that was kind of a trick question because you've got two very cool yeah. updated classics, the 69 uh, Charger and the 69 uh, Daytona. Daytona right? No, I like them. I mean, it, it's the problem is now, like, they're getting so advanced. Like, my cars are still running big blocks and carburetor. Mm -hmm. These guys are running. Now it's Coyote oh, modern God. motors I mean, and everything's got everything, LS. And Coyote motors and coilovers, right. everything. I mean, so that's why everything, everything needs twin turbos now because LS motors are so boring. <laughs> Yeah, you go to SEMA. Yeah. You were at SEMA. Everything. Everything, Everything has, has an LS, LS motor. motor in it. Yeah. Like they're giving out awards, like best car without an LS engine is yeah. now <laughs> is now a, a category at SEMA. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then the other thing is they don't have, you, you know, you can't like 400 horsepower now. That, oh. where that used to be like I got 400 horsepower. Oh, yeah. It's like dude, 400, 400, 400 horsepower. The, the, yeah. tuner, right. you know? the, the tuner show is is ruining my sense of speed. Like it, well, it, you like, drive. Yeah. I mean, between stuff. the 950 horsepower, the GTR, the Lotus, all these cars. Well, you even said that. Like, how do you go back to driving regular cars you when can. you're driving it's a hard, thousand dude. horsepower you can. cars? All My the time. Corvette is 2,900 pounds and 500 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel fast anymore. Yeah. Right. So my tax return, thank you, IRS. Uh, supercharger. We're, ah. going, we're going supercharger on the Corvette, and then I picked up a new vehicle. Oh. Which I uh, purchased uh, live on the air on the Smoke and Tire podcast while uh, drunk, actually. <laughs> uh, sight on dialing scene. while right. dialing while uh, while drunk. A uh, drunk car drunk purchasing. Dialing. Yeah, I got it from Andrew Comrie Picard. You know right. ACP. Yes, ACP. ACP. From, uh, uh, Super top, nice guy. Uh, top Gear. He's a writer on Top, writer on top Gear, and yeah. he's a he drives for a Mitsubishi factory rally team, and right. he did used to do drifting. Yeah, um, it's a 1987 CRX. With 180,000 miles on it. <laughs> That's an awesome car. It has a, has a brand new balanced and blueprinted engine, 5,000 miles on the motor. Wow. The body's straight, interior's straight. 500 bucks. Yeah, that's a deal. Dude. That's 500 a bucks, car. you know, for a motor, for the motor alone. Yeah, you could park bucks. that thing out for two yeah. grand. But I'm thinking, I see everyone's like, oh, lemons, lemons. And I'm like, I'm looking at the pictures of it and I'm like, huh. Oh. I kind of like it. I don't know what yeah. lemons it. The problem is you're gonna drive it. If you, have you ever driven one? No. It's a slot car. It makes the mini. I know. You'll love look, it. Oh, it's an um, unbelievable car. I mean, it was like drive. the mini before the mini was there. But the other thing is, and I don't want to bring this up because people in the comments have brought this up, but you're not a small guy. No. So wait, I'm sure it's gonna be. Have fun. you met ACP? He's six six. Well, yeah. No, I've never actually did not. ACP is six tall. foot yeah. six, and he drives. And he said it was fine. Yeah, okay. Fair. So, so I'm, I'm just bringing throwing I'm it out there because maybe it's not very nice people are gonna talk. Huh? No, I'm just, I'm, I, you know, because people are going to be fat. thinking it. I'm not calling you fat. I just wanted to throw I it out there. Fat, but, but it doesn't mean you got to remind <laughs> me. 
I got mirrors in my house. I, I know this. You're, you're a large individual. I'm not of saying course. you're fat. I'm not I'm saying gonna, you're it's fat. It's gonna be fat guy in a little car. <laughs> that was it's gonna be. That's but you know what? You're, I guarantee you'll love it. I'm gonna it's, love it. Cool I'm gonna, right. Bill of Caswell of $500 rally car fame now right. works with Bill Stein. Uh -huh. Said he will get me suspension if I want to turn it into a rally car. Oh. There you go. To, oh, front okay. wheel see, drive, now Rally yeah, America yeah. CRX. I'm right, thinking, right. right? Yeah, that's. Now, yeah, but do you really want to beat? I mean, how many CRXs are are really in mint condition one, left on the road? Like, do you really want to not, mint It's not mint condition. All right, so what I mean, it's straight. Yeah. It's I, straight. And it's right. got some rust, and there's like the, the picture I saw. The bumper was a little. Uh, and well, on a good day, it's fifteen hundred to two grand. Yeah, I got right, over right. five hundred. Well, there's no doubt that CRX is a, is a cool. It'd be perfect yeah. for rallying. But I feel and like Morningstar is going to drive it. Oh, sh uh, I forget. You, you, you got okay, about five okay. minutes. No, no, not in rally. Then. Oh. Gonna, morning show is going to daily drive it while I'm turning into a rally car. All right. I mean, <laughs> I think you know. you're going to like that car. No, I, I think, I think you're going to like it. Take that car to the canyon. Too, I think. Yeah. I just think. Here's this because because it's really hard to find a good CRX. So yeah. if you brought it up to good condition, I would be concerned about the rallying issue. Well, the other thing is is actually getting it because it's in Canada. Oh no! <laughs> it's in Toronto. Yeah, so, okay, is there so going to be a camera on you as you're crossing the border? It's, it's a CDM, Canada domestic market. Car. Don't they make skates? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> CCM. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the super tax. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, uh, actually, Alex Roy will be accompanying me on my voyage. Oh Jesus! To get this, to get my CRS. Well, this oh, brings you'll have fun. fun. Yeah. Is this going to be for across just, the border? Just don't feed him any beef jerky. <laughs> who's? Yeah, exactly. Well, whose show is this for? Is this for, it's your for Live show? and Let Drive? It's for Live and Let oh, Drive. Yeah, yeah, it's for Live and Let Drive. Cool. But it, it's 25 years show. old this year, so I can legally import yeah. it. Oh, there Canada. you go. There yeah. you go. Cool. That's the whole thing. Yeah. And then uh, we're doing a tuner show again. And yeah, another season of tuned. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Now the average horsepower of all the cars we tested in the first season was 581. It's the average horsepower. Yeah. If the shoots go, I'm not going to give away what we're doing. Okay. There's some wild. The average horsepower of the cars for season two, if all the shoots go through the way I think, will be 894. That is the spoiled, average. Spoiled, spoiled bastard. bastard. <laughs> how do you, how, now that, I mean, that's the this thing. Like, the and you know. First of all, how do you go back to driving a regular car? We, like we were it talking about, it is such a slippery slope. But second of all, right for for you know the for tune the tuners themselves. I mean, are they going just too far with this stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, you know what's funny? I I'll let you. There's one car in specific that I've mentioned before, like the the twin turbo Lamborghinis. Right. Where I'm going, where I'm going, you know, this is too much. Now, granted, I've not driven them yet, but I just in my mind, it's too much. It's, you know, it sounds like, like a high number. I have a feeling that once I drive them, I'm going to go, no. Not only is it not too much, it's not enough. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. You know? No, I, well, I mean, are you driving them on, on like, uh, like you did a last couple, There will be a couple season, of runways. Last season you did a couple of runways. There will right? be a couple of runways. There will be a couple of racetracks. There will be one possibly very, very cool racetrack situation. And there will be one car, and I won't say what it is, but it has 2,000 horsepower. What the hell? I mean, so, you're what? you're driving the uh, the SS uh, George Washington. Is, yeah. is that what like do you a do with it? I mean, I mean, and and putting power down though. I mean, you know, yeah. you have two thousand ho uh, horsepower. Yeah. That car has slicks. What's the torque? I mean, torque number's got to be thousands well into the four right? digits. I'm yeah. not I'm not exactly sure what it is. I mean, is, that, that's absurd. It's, though. Yeah. I well, mean, it's stuff. I mean, production stuff is getting. Out. I mean, the Shelby was just that new Shelby was just rated at six sixty two. Oh yeah, the new GT five hundred. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's and right. And the most powerful and aspirated, <laughs> naturally aspirated V eight. It's not naturally aspirated. Oh, it's not. Supercharged. Yeah, but didn't they say the V eight itself was like? No. Uh, I don't I'm think not, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, right. Don't think so. All right. Supercharged. All right, well, right. You could be. But I mean, you know, when still, the, it's a lot of power. Well, yeah. Sure. Now the top supercar ranks are in the sevens now, right? So Aventador yeah. is uh, over seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the new Ferrari is going to be seven something. The F twelve will be yeah. seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. The F twelve is going to be seven. I mean, so I think five or six years, are, or however long the Aventador lasts, yeah. knowing Lamborghini, what's going to be twelve or something? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a right. dozen years. The next Aventador mm -hmm. will have a thousand. I mean, they I can almost guarantee. You. People were saying that the horsepower wars were over. No, Obviously right. not. Like, uh, they're no. never going to be over. It's not a chance. They're, I think they're going to a smaller displacement. 
Well, we've got this X5M right. for Bull Rock. Uh, Bull Rock, Jesus, sorry. One lap. For one lap. So we're doing right. next week. So you guys are doing one lap. So let's. You, you yeah. guys have each have your own shows, but together you were doing one lap. Together, yeah. together, together. <laughs> one, one lap of America. <laughs> nice. That was. Way to run with that. That was good. Right. Oh, you were gonna say good. I, I was gonna say gay. I did say. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we got the X5M BMW. Yeah. Oh, which interesting is, choice. Oh, it's gonna be. Fantastic. It is a brilliant automobile. I've had it for four days. I put a thousand miles on it already. Air okay. conditioning. And that in gas, awesome. that's uh, five thousand dollars. I'm getting sixteen miles per gallon. Really? Twin turbo V8s, man. Right. Twin turbos. That's fine. You don't keep your foot out of it. Your yeah. But it's it, those. You know, I tested the X6M at Spartanburg on the smoking tire, and wow. the five is the same, just uh, not heinous, um, <laughs> and you know, not impractical. Double negative there for you. Not impractical. Not impractical. Somebody did? The opposite of the X6M. Right. Uh, so we're driving that. Sick. Cool. Uh, San Marino green. Blue. Ooh. That's the... Uh, it's the really pretty... The, yeah. Like nice blue, car. Yeah. Um, wh when and when does it start? How long is it? All that stuff. It's the 5th to 12th. Yeah. Are you shooting this for anything or are you just going to do we're it? We're just doing it. I'm yeah. writing and taking pictures for yeah. the smoking tire and we've got... We're going to have just a few in-car lap yeah. stuff. Yeah. Not Nothing posted. Nothing I mean, I'll do stuff on like ridelove.com and stuff. Yeah, 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 it's just, it's it's a cool event. I mean, if anybody's looking for an amazing event to go out and really drive, where they want to compete, yeah, it's fantastic. It's eight racetracks in eight days, yeah. and then thirty four hundred miles in between said racetracks. Right. I mean, they've been doing this is like you know what year it is. They've been doing it for about like since the eighties, right? Yeah, yeah, for a long time. Yeah. Well, yeah. since it changed over. Yeah, yeah. From but you know, the really hardcore, the, you know, there's a lot of pro drivers that do this. Yeah. Grand Am guys and Lee Keen, he'll be back. He's going to win it again. He's going to win again, Lee. And and so the really hardcore racers, they drive sports cars. Right. So we're driving an SUV. So we're in the SUV class. So uh, we're not even really racing those guys. Right. Uh, we are racing a Honda factory team in a, that is in bringing an Odyssey Mini. They're oh. bringing a race prepped, gutted cage oh, Odyssey Mini. That's Mini. stupid. Yeah. That's Apparently is very very quick. Yeah. Wow, very yeah. nice. And they, it should be good. Cool. Gonna be We're good. gonna be tired, but it'll be good. Yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, this morning I kicked the door and broke my toe. Oh, so you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be out 3,500 miles with a yeah. broken toe. Yeah. And even though everyone who watches my stuff oh, knows I have lawyers on retainer, <laughs> I got a ticket this morning for 40 and a 25. Oh, I haven't even started this goddamn thing yet. <laughs> Get tickets. That means I'll be driving most. See, of we, yeah. Road. Well, I'll be napping. Well, uh, good luck with that. Also. Um, Anything? Well, I just realized we're we just burned through the uh, the time here like we usually do. It's okay. You know why? Budokan. Oh yes. yes. Going to Budokan. Going to Budokan. Been Look back up to the East Coast for nine months. First restaurant. Budokan. Yeah, yeah. Well, good so to see you guys. So, any parting uh, parting words for uh, Road Testament? You? Nah, honestly, it's just kind of cool <laughs> to be back in one spot. No, it's good to yeah. good to see you guys. Uh, yeah, Smoke Tire Podcast. Yeah, doing really well. It's the very unfiltered live radio, which you can get on our website you can or say iTunes. The F word. We've got yeah, season two of Tune starts July first. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the smoking tires still going. Next episode is the uh, Panamera Turbo S trip to Yosemite, oh. which is fun to shoot. And uh, Yogi Bear's house. I don't know. Hit me up on Facebook. Cool. Oh, if you're sorry, one more thing. Yes. I have an open content for anyone who watches our shows or listens to our podcast or anything. If you are a female. Mm -hmm. If you're a female, message us on Facebook, The Smoking Tire, and I will send you a free t-shirt just for being a female and actually Wow, the show. and you know what? There are 2.9% of the uh, viewers of the show right. are female. So well, of like, all those 2.9%... I've been doing it for a month. They give me one, one shirt. Yeah, yeah. So ladies, I mean the two of you, definitely... Free shirts. Free shirts. Also, one last thing. If you have a cool muscle car, I'm looking for them. Yeah. Drivebigmuscle at gmail.com. Cool. Email me. Let me know what you got. And we'll come and, and check let you it out. let you drive and it. let me drive it. Yeah, exactly. And we'll check it out. Cool. That's Road Testament today. Hit us up on Drive at Drive on Twitter. Also, Drive TV on Facebook. Check that out. Ooh, we are Facebook in, now. Yeah, we are in the yeah whatever. I just heard about that. Isn't that a cool? Seems thing? like a really cool website. All the, everybody I knew from high school's on it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Let's go to Budokan. Let's go. Right, See you guys later. Peace.